Okay, now that I've come out the other side of the rabbit hole, so to speak, I can say I had to deal with a familiar spirit, a demon. Again, what happened is that I had a conflict at a church. And by the way, I'm, I'm still cool with church. So somebody came at me with an accusation that caused some problems. And instead of fighting it, I felt in my heart, God say, just get your stuff and go. And bless them on the way out. Don't be snarky. Don't be fussing. And to walk in love. Uh, well, kind of did it and kind of didn't. And the part of I kind of didn't let in a demon because I had bitterness in my heart. The interesting thing is something like this had happened years ago in ministry with a real close friend. And I got bitter back then. And it was not so much that I was wrong back then about my assessment of certain situations, but it wasn't loving. And when I try to change somebody, that's when, dude, that's just not going to happen. And that lets in the disappointment and the bitterness and the anger and the frustration. And this time around, I felt it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I recognize this guy. It's a demon. Okay, it's my fault. I'm doing the same thing again. Not as bad, but it was the same pattern. It was the same trail. And this time around, I simply said no. Okay, so I started to forgive. And a lot. I forgave everybody, including myself. But really more so, it was others and seeing how, and not so much of that I was wrong for how things went down, but just the way I was responding. Jesus on the cross is the example for all of us. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Even though they seem like they know they know what they're doing, they're, they're crucifying you. But it also leads us into our destiny not every time, but I think often. If you have, pro you know, people that are causing you problems and you have a legal right to deal with it, okay. But how you deal with it emotionally as you're dealing with it legally, that counts as much, maybe even, even more so than the final outcome. Do we walk in love? So once I shut down the bitterness and rooted it out, and forgave from my heart and started blessing, it left the demonic entities, the encounters, instead of taking years to get rid of, just took a few, in like three days. First it hit me, I was confused. It felt like a bum rush when it all went down. And so I was spinning for one day, got frustrated, you know, and that's when and bitter the next and that's when it really got bad and the third day uh, it was actually the like midnight or three o'clock the, the second day I'm like oh no we don't I got woke up by the demon I'm like I'm gonna start repenting now and I did and then by the third day it was really simmering down and I got prayer from other people I went to the word and just analyzed and assessed myself where I was wrong and found a solution. Uh, bless those that curse you and pray for those who spitefully use you. Good stuff. And I'm better now. And the healing that I had received and the encounter of God's love that I received at Asbury some months ago uh, is kicking back in. It kind of it didn't get kind of everything with me and God. It got squelched. It got muted. Uh, but now the sense of touch between my heart and God's is back. 
and it's not that we always go by feelings, but there are good ones to be had, and there are also bad ones to be had, and when the bad ones occur, it's like touching a thorn or a knife or a hot pot. They actually can be useful to say, hey, I'm getting something wrong, let's do the opposite of this. And when you get into the right mode, the right direction with God, there are also positive angelic encounters to be had. You know, I don't want to live by them, but to be honest, I've had them for 23 years. And it's, we live by faith, not by feelings. But I'm starting to realize our feelings are incredibly important and good. And it's not that we don't live by them, but it's more so paying attention to them and discerning good and evil within our emotions so that we can use them for God and by God. And then it's all good. So that's my encounter with dealing with a demon, a familiar demon from back in the day. And not to say that I won, but I won. God won. Maybe I can be taught. I done. I got educated, and you can get educated too with Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus, and He will be your educator. He will teach you. His Spirit will bring you to know good and evil, and then read His Word. You know that's you know the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Hit a church, become part of a body, and learn from people that are you know know what's going on. So I hope that helps and uh, at least entertains a little bit. And uh, I can win, you can too. So Jesus, good and good for you. Talk to him today. Operator standing by. Pablo Espanol. Goodbye. <laughs>